A hearty Mahakam welcome to you. What an honor. Even the arbalists salute us with cocked quarrels. Oh, that well. An ounce of prevention saves a slag heap of trouble. None too shabby as views go, eh? Mmm, were it not for the howling wind, I'd make a sketch. Meave rode slowly, her surroundings interesting to her, her ears keen to take in the cacophony of sounds, the sharp whistle of wind rushing past towering peaks, the squeak of wagon wheels rolling over frozen snow, and the roar of beasts. What the...? I dare not venture a guess. Hmm. Gabo scratched his chin. An ice troll. Or one of them Barbigazer bejabbers. These the Queen's brow rose in a silent inquiry. All right. You don't quite get the context. Each spring, with the melting of the snows, a good bit of that filth comes out the ground. That's when Bruver Hoog summons all dwarves for spring cleaning. We cut down as much of the filth as we can, and that means relative calm the rest of the year. Out of the corner of her eye, Meave noted a dark shape darting between rock formations. Calmly, she drew her sword and brandished it a time or two to warm up her stiff. on a toe! Get to work! Left, right. Ah! Watch out! It's rolling our way! Again and again and again.
army's a waste of time for one like me. Your Grace, be careful. just when you thought things were about to get dull. Tell me you jest. Standing around like corns on a toe! Get to work! Mixes. I smell a leak. We'll catch them all. Ever have a storm knock out one of your teeth? Be careful. A drummer glue fits a soldier in a rivet or two and is good as new. Got 
got some splitting to do. As the wails of speared Shalemars died down, the crowd of Mahakaman infantry parted. A dwarf stepped forth, grey as a snow fox, wrinkled as a prune. This would be our elder in chief. And who might your guest be? Queen of Lyria and Rivia, and her associates. My regards, Elder. You come for something. Coins my first wager. Fighting bodies my second. Well, what is it you want? I'm on in the years, I, but I'm not gone dotty. Tja, you menfolk. You got to fall on hard times to remember us. I've come with a design in mind, I cannot deny. But hear me out and you. She's armed! Gabor! Why the devil did you let her in here like that? And without a sack! She has the leaden ring! A gift from a king. From Demavand, lassie, I ken that already. Trust a man, give him something of value, and he'll go and give it away as easy as a street whore gives away nubs. It's a good thing he didn't pawn it. <laughs> Sons of sh I've travelled far to see you. Yeah, let it be my loss. Go on, Haver. Nilfgaard has overrun my realms. It has overrun Edurn. The Blackclads are at the foot of Mahakam. They will seek to overrun your land sooner or later as well. We must act. Time? What do you care a time, lass? Got how many summers to you? Forty, maybe? Had you grown up amongst dwarven folk, at your age you'd be learning to crochet doll. I've seen four hundred summers come and go. And I've been elder for two hundred. And you know what I've learned in that time? That meddling in now, on a normal day, I'd have you all thrown clear out of this land I love. But you've the leaden ring, and that grants you the right to hospitality. You may stay in the pass long as you wish. Young Zigrin will serve as your guide. And once you've tired of the mountains, well, you can the way down into the valleys. My lord Elder, with all due respect, we came to your aid. We smote the beast. And who the demons is the Count Reynard Odo. Ho <laughs> ho Odo Lodo Bodo! <laughs> now, you listen and listen well. We didn't ask for aid. And you know why? Cause I've my dignity. Mates and wenches! Spring cleanings done! Beast cullens over! Mount Carbon beckon! Your Grace, be not dismayed. Manage we shall, true, though damned if I know how. We have none other to whom we can turn, no other land where we- Let us convene in council, Your Grace. Consider together what's to be done. Your Grace, might I draw you aside a wee mo- Reynard, please excuse me. Well? I ken the Elder-in-Chief didn't make a good first impression. <laughs> and the second? Mm. To be quite frank, no. I'll try elsewise. Not all's lost, trust me. Brewer's a stubborn goat, no doubt about it, but a goat to be persuaded. And I happen to ken how. The selfless impulse to help? I don't believe it exists. So before you describe how you aim to aid me, be kind enough to explain why you wish to do so. Unsolicited, mind you. And clearly against a query of my own to answer yours. Do you ken when Bruverhoog last strode down the mountains into your lowlands? I know not. While King Sam Point of fact. Never. Hoog was born here and he'll die here. Like whereas I'm a frequent visitor in your human lands. Been an emissary to royal courts, trade guilds, mummers, troops, and I've a Nilfgaard's insatiable. The black clads will not stop till they've put the whole continent neath their boot. From Ophir in the south to the Dragon Mountain, gods forbid they grip all the Nordlings' realms in their vice. Cause then we'll have their hordes all round, controlling all the trade routes, supply lines, diversions even. And then they'll control terms and prices. <sighs> we dwarves have never been on elite, let alone so. In short, we'll all be better off with the black clads Back across the Yaruga. And I've seen your grace. Seen you in battle. You've brawn. Very well, I'm all ears. What must we do? Hmm. 
I might start with the thorn in our side that are beasts. A bigger see, in our never-ending search for gold, we dug deep, too deep, and reached abysses where monsters are born, or however they come to be. Soon as it turns a bit warmer, they crawl out to feed. And there's more every year. What you saw there, the spring cleaning, that's just light yearly upkeep. It didn't go at the source of the blight. Every spring we cull enough so we can live and trade and mine normal-like. But there are corridors in the upper valleys midst the peaks where more lie waiting to pounce. So many, there's settlements that have done been a... I still fail to see how this relates... Your Majesty, slay the beasts down to their last and you'll win the hearts of the clans. All of them. And with the clans behind you, why? The Elder will have no choice. You've got two sites through which beasts swarm in great numbers. There's Daver's Abyss and an abandoned underground settlement called Burr's Rump. Destroy those. Collapse the corridor. And this? T'would suffice? I believe it would. Uh, but, but, but find you other ways to win the heart of a clan or Bruver itself. Do so. Can he bring no heart? Hmm. All this sounds rather toilsome, yet... I do favour this to losing another moon, seeking out a court where we would at first be welcomed, only later to hear another rebuke. You've my gratitude, Gabor. You've shown me a way. Very well. Let us think on these beasts. See what's to be done.